Tiền giáo hội Việt Nam Lời chúc mừng Giáng sinh năm 2018 của Đức Tổng Giám mục Đại diện Tòa Thánh tại Việt Nam Hôm 23 tháng 12 vừa qua, Đức Tổng Giám mục Marek Zaleski, đại diện Tòa Thánh tại Việt Nam, đã gửi lời chúc mừng Giáng sinh đến toàn thể Cộng đoàn Dân Chúa tại Việt Nam và Hải ngoại. Sau đây là toàn văn sứ điệp của Ngài. Dear brothers and sisters, first of all, I would like to express my gratitude to His Holiness, Pope Francis, for appointing me as his representative to your beautiful country, to Vietnam. I feel privileged to travel so often from Singapore to your country and have the possibility to meet your bishops, priests, religious sisters, seminarians, and thousands of Catholic families. You are witnesses to Christ and to his Holy Gospel. You live the faith with courage, enthusiasm, and spirit of sacrifice. Very soon, dear brothers and sisters, we will hear the following words. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and laying in a manger. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. That night, the one who had no place to be born is proclaimed to those who had no place at the table or in the streets of the city. The shepherds are the first to hear the good news. By reason of their work, they were men and women forced to live on the ages of society. They were considered pagans among the believers, sinners among the just, foreigners among the citizens. Yet to them, pagans, sinners, and foreigners, the angel says, do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for the people. To you, is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This is the joy, dear brothers and sisters, Vietnamese in Vietnam and abroad, are called to share, to celebrate and to proclaim. The joy with which God, in His infinite mercy, has embraced us pagans, sinners, foreigners, and demands that we do the same. The faith we proclaim tonight makes us see God present in all these situations where we think He is absent. He is present in many places, often unrecognizable, present in the people who walk through our cities and in our neighborhood. This same faith compels us to make space for a new social justice and not to be afraid of experiencing new form of relationship based on love and respect for human dignity. Christmas, beloved brothers and sisters, is not a season of greetings. We don't send in this day the Christmas card with strange pictures, with letters saying season's greetings. This is not Christian behavior. So Christmas is not only a social event, but it is a time for turning the power of fear into the power of charity. A power for a new imagination of charity and new evangelization. 
the Christian charity always grows together with justice and must have the courage amid political tensions to make itself a place of bread. That means home for everyone. That is what St. John Paul II told us. Do not be afraid. Open wide the doors for Christ. As representative of His Holiness Pope Francis in your country, permit me to quote our beloved Holy Father, Pope Francis. Last year at Christmas time, he said, in the child of Bethlehem, God comes to meet us and make us active sharers in the life around us. He offers himself to us so that we can take him into our arms, lift him and embrace him, so that in him we will not be afraid to take into our arms, raised up and embrace the thirsty, the stranger, the naked, the sick, the imprisoned. These are beautiful and profound words. In fact, in Child Jesus, God invites us, with no exception, to be messengers of hope and ambassadors of peace. In this child, born of the Virgin Mary, God makes us agents of his hospitality and his charity. Dear sisters and brothers, like the shepherds of Bethlehem, may you too, with eyes full of amazement and wonder, gaze upon the child Jesus, the Son of God. And in his presence, may our hearts burst forth in prayer. Show us, Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. Every time, we hear about the birth of Jesus Christ, let us be silent and allow him to speak. Let us take his words to heart and in contemplation of his face, listen to him. If we listen to him attentively, we discover what is essential in our lives. I wish you a holy Christmas and a blessed new year. Thank you.